On the main street of Haddonfield, New Jersey, there's an unusual little shop full of whimsical items celebrating Anatolian art and culture. The shop belongs to Ulvia Asal, who is herself from Anatolia. Anatolia is Turkey, and Anatolia is the uh, Greek name. The Greeks looked east to Anatolia. They called it the place where the sun is born. It's now home to modern-day Turkey. Ulvia grew up in an Anatolian Greek family in the city of Gerson on the Black Sea. It's where she learned how to make traditional Turkish lace, or oya. My grandmother, she was very good at uh, so many different techniques making the oya. I interested to learn from her and I started with the her when I was a little girl, maybe 10, 12 years old. Oya lace is made with a needle and very fine thread. It could be polyester and silk and cotton, metallic thread also. And also we have with the beads. Oya is used for trimming on traditional headscarves. It's colorful and often three-dimensional, sometimes in the shapes of flowers or fruit. For centuries, it's been a way for women to express themselves. Now, Ulvia is taking this craft in new directions. Everybody made at the past something different and then it's coming to, to today. It's like turned to my style now. Ulvia has a complicated relationship with her Turkish past. As Anatolian Greeks, her family was Christian. In the early 20th century, Turks massacred and deported Christians, including Armenians, Assyrians, and Greeks, in what is now called the Armenian Genocide. Her grandfather was the only one in the family to survive and remain in Turkey. My grandfather, he survived. We come from him in Turkey. We all his family gone. That. Oya is Ulvia's way of reclaiming her past. It's why she now shares this ancient Anatolian craft with no, others. With your hand, this hand. Oh, this hand. And this hand holds needle. I think anything that gives you a connection to the past, like to another time and another place, it's magical. I don't want to lose that culture, but the most important things, I don't want to lose myself. It's something inside of me. 